You know, there have been times in my life where I have pushed and pushed and pushed for something that I wanted. And I was basically pushing against closed doors. Maybe you've had the same type of experience. Well, in that experience, when we've hit our head against the wall long enough, we finally can say, let God have God's way in my life. And that is a higher way, and you have an aha experience when you realize the good that is coming your way. Nothing is too great nor too insignificant to talk to God about. If you had a really good friend, you would know that you could talk to them about anything, the big things or the tiny things. Well, God is the best friend that you will ever have. If it's important to you, it is important to God. Right where you are, regardless of your condition, God is there with you, enfolding you in God's love, ready in every way to fulfill your needs. First of all, you have to realize that you're important to God. I've had so many people over the years say, well, I'm insignificant. I'm of no importance whatsoever. And there was never more of a wrong statement made. You are very important to God. God manifests God through you as life, as power, and as abundance. God expresses beauty and peace and perfection through you. Today, you let yourself bask in the sunshine of God's love. You let God have God's way in your life. As the warmth of God's love completely covers you, you will be refreshed, you will be renewed, at the core of your being. You'll also be strengthened and you'll also be restored. Life will take on new meaning and new purpose. How great it is to be loved as God loves with an everlasting, unchangeable love, a love that never varies and never will change no matter what. God loves you. You are important to God. And when you realize that God's way is always good and blessed, you'll pray more often, let God have God's way in my life.